Rajdeep, uh, you know, for someone who's covered many seasons of parliamentary politics, I want to ask you, uh, what do you make of the fact that the agenda till now, very unclear on what is going to be up for discussion come the special joint session of parliament? I see it as part of the strategy of Prime Minister Modi uh, to keep the opposition guessing. And this is not the first time we've, uh, we've seen that happen. If you recall August of 2019, soon after the big second victory of Prime Minister Modi in that monsoon session of parliament, suddenly, almost unknowingly, the government slips in Article 370's effective re revocation. No one was informed. Uh, it wasn't on the day's agenda as well. It, Forget about being discussed in an all-party meeting. It wasn't even on the day's agenda. It was brought in at the last moment, and it completely almost changed the way uh, that parliament session went ahead. So I think Mr. Modi has been very clear. Whenever he's tried to bring in something disruptive, something game-changing, it's done at the last moment. Now, I believe it's against the convention of parliament. I am open to being challenged on this, but I've gone through this again last night because my friend Mr. Punawala was questioning me. I went back to it. There has never been a special session, and I use the word special session very carefully, wherein a parliamentary convention demands that you make very clear what the special session has been called for. And well in advance, not a, this is not the same as a regular session where you call an all-party meeting, discuss at the business advisory committee the agenda of that session. So it is clearly against convention to call a special session of parliament without informing anyone of the agenda. However, as I said, I believe it's Mr. Modi's strategy and he's perfectly entitled, you could say that, to keep the opposition guessing and thereby at the last moment throw in some political googly that he hopes, I think, will set the narrative for 2024. You know, That's gonna, my sense. We're going to come down to that, what possibly the political googly might be. But uh, Shahzad, you know, no, there's no breaking of any rules, but uh, stepping away from parliamentary convention, at least you, be, you, know, you accept that by not informing the opposition on what the agenda is this time for a special uh, session. Although the Congress has continued to show its intolerance by not appearing on a debate with me, I hope that since Rajdeep has uh, stepped in and kept some points, he will not interrupt me like he did last evening. First of all, Rajdeep, thank you for acknowledging, and you can keep the finger on the lip, but the narrative should stop. Rajdeep and you both acknowledge that no rule of parliament has been broken, no constitutional provision has been violated. Thank you very much. Convention Second, has been broken. Can I, again, you interrupt it? You saw, I, I have to be you honest. Don't, I, I'll, I'll you tell you, Rajdeep, just, honestly, yeah. you know, even if Congress continues its boycott, since you're there filling in their shoes, they'll be more than happy to That's an unfair thing. That's an unfair thing. That's an unfair thing. That's an unfair thing. I almost did not come on the program because of this low-level jibes. No low-level jibes. I did not want to keep interfering. No, no. Preeti, he spoke for three minutes. One second. May I just... One second. Okay. Can we just stay clear of any personal jibes or... I am only saying this. Did Rajdeep open a show with a three-minute intervention? Go ahead. So can he not speak when I make my intervention? Okay, now. Can yeah. you speak? He spoke in the first 10 seconds. Right. Can I'm, you I speak? I also want to make clear. Speaking. I yeah. also want to make clear that it is both the BJP and the Congress that have decided to boycott uh, certain spokespersons of each other's party. It's not just that Shahzad Punawala has boycotted. No, no, the BJP second. has on, also boycotted. On, uh, your six PM show, you're not updated on your six PM show. I am show, updated, Gaurav sir. Gaurav Bhatia and Alok Sharma both have appeared against sir, each okay, other, maybe, but the Congress continues right. to boycott me. So you ask them that. Maybe Rajdeep sir, can continue, call them up and ask them. Continue, Anyways, continue. Now I hope Rajdeep won't interrupt me for the next two minutes. First of all, Rajdeep's allegation last night and today, the sum and substance of it is why this secrecy? By Rajdeep, India today ran four agendas that are coming up in the session that is upcoming. UCC, Women's Reservation, ONOP and renaming of India to Bharat according to your channel. So are you saying... There was another one. one second. There please was one more. Madam, please don't interrupt me. Now he stopped, so you have started. If these four agendas, are you telling me India today, the gold standard of journalism has been kite flying? Otherwise, you tell me that you have a particular source and there's no secrecy because you know the agenda or else acknowledge that your channel is doing kite flying. Are you, are you, are you, are you, am I Rubia. allowed Am I allowed to answer? Let You've asked complete, me a question. Let me complete Please go seconds. ahead, sir. Yes, 35 seconds. I've got the watch. Yes, yeah, 35 yes, seconds. Go ahead. 30. Now, Ajdeep says he has acknowledged that no rule or constitutional provisional has been broken because Article 85 
ordains that the president can summon a session. There's no distinction between special session and other sessions. And then once the president ordains a session, after that, the parliamentary affairs minister uh, uh, announces it. The speaker is the head. Therefore, he, at an appropriate time, will call for a BAC and an all-party meeting where the agenda will be hammered out, which will happen in this case also. So how is Rajdeep and the Congress ecosystem preempting that the agenda won't be shared? Thirdly, he says convention has been broken. But every time Rajdeep says that, he talks about the 50-year celebration of the uh, independence or 75 years of the constitu 70 years of the constitution or 75 years of something else. That is a celebratory function. That being you compared to the second, you spoken for a minute. Telling yeah, make your make the your The celebratory point. function, which is held in the central hall, is not called under Article 85. And therefore, Rajdeep, now I ask you a question on behalf of Congress Party, which you can answer. Tell me one instance in 1991, for instance, when an Article 85 session was called a special session to extend emergency provisions in a particular state. Please tell me when did Congress party whose government was in power share the agenda or discuss the agenda first with the opposition and on what date did they do it and what date was the session? All right. Very specific okay, question. Okay. Please, okay. I, I, one I hope, second. One second. Okay. It's, 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 you've spoken for one. I have, okay. checked, I have checked again yeah. in each instance. The word, operative word, Mr. Punawala, is special session. This is the word which Mr. Prahlad Joshi, Parliamentary mm. Affairs Minister, has used. Mm. Every occasion when the word special session has been used, mm -hmm. a week, at least a week okay. before the session, if not longer, it has been communicated what the session is mm -hmm. about, why the session has been called. So mm. you cannot now put out misleading facts here to suggest that this has not happened. This is the first time I've checked. Mm. This is the first time Did an announcement no, of the special session has been made without no, the I'll agenda come back being put forward. I, 